It was described as perhaps the most significant day in the health of the nation for decades. One year ago, the ban on smoking in public places in England came into force. It particularly had an effect on places such as this, bars and pubs. Now with me is GP Dr Roger Henderson. How much of a difference has it made to our health? Undoubtedly a major difference. Some of the figures now coming through almost one year on show that the incidence of patients entering hospitals with heart attacks and coronary problems has reduced by up to half. Major figures. Now, if you were a smoker who gave up on the 1st of July last year, how much better would you be feeling? Well, straight away, your risk of having a heart attack would have halved over the last 12 months. Your lung improvement would have gone up by 10%. You'd be tasting better, you'd have your sense of smell back, and you'd be generally richer. And what about passive smokers, those who for so long have been in bars that were full of smoke? How much of a difference will it have made to their health in the last year? Well, they're saying to me already they are feeling much better. Even in the first two or three months, they found that they had less eye irritation, their breathing was better, more energy levels, they could taste themselves much better, and in general, all-round good result. Doctor, thank you very much indeed. Now, of course, the organisation quit and very much at the forefront of getting people to give up smoking. Earlier on, I caught up with Pushpinder Verdi from the charity. Has the smoke-free legislation had an effect on the numbers of people quitting? Yes, there has been a huge rise in smokers calling our quit line to, to help them stop smoking after the introduction of the smoking ban last year in July. And for those people who are still smoking and who want to give up, what are the most successful methods for quitting? There are many successful methods to quit, help smokers quit smoking. There are clinically proven products out there such as NRT, uh, gums, patches, lozenges, alongside stop smoking groups uh, and telephone counselling. They are able to quit. They're four times more likely to quit. Now, some nicotine replacement therapy brands, such as Nicotinelle, they support potential quitters by reaching out to them in their chosen environments, such as pubs and places like that. What do you think of that? Whatever environment the smoker is comfortable in, we, we're, we hope we are able to reach out to them and let them know that we are there to help them quit. Now, the, there are also places such as uh, keepthefire.co.uk where smokers can get emotional help as well. How important is that? Emotional help is crucial to, for su providing support to a smoker, so emotional help alongside other information and support is very key. Pushpinder Verdi there from Quit. Now, finally, Doctor, you do still see people outside the pubs, of course, smoking a crafty cigarette. What would you say to them to get them to stop? Two main things to say to them. The first is there's never been a better time to quit with the medication now available. And secondly, whenever you quit, your health is always going to improve. Doctor, thank you very much indeed. So it's been a year since the smoking ban. Here's to another. Cheers. Cheers.